Potomac beads. Join me in learning how to bezel the new Potomac crystal lemon shape. Gather up your materials and let's get started. If you need any materials, remember there's links below me to shop with us online. So to start out bezeling our lemon crystal, we're gonna be using some Delicas, and I'm using the Duracote Galvanized Silver Delica in size 11. I have a stop bead, which is going to come off my project, and that is on .006 wildfire beading thread in the gray color, since I'm using silver beads. What I've done is I've strung onto my thread, which is about four feet long, 32 of my Delica beads. 32. Make sure multiple times that 32 is the number that you have on. We're going to take our needle and thread and sew through the first four beads starting from the stop bead and continuing towards the rest of the beads. What this is going to do is pull this into a circle which we are eventually going to make into a square. If you know peyote stitch, what we're going to do is add a second row of our Delica beads in a standard peyote. You're going to be adding one bead, skipping the next bead in line on the starter row, and sewing through the third bead. Give a nice tight pull so it goes right down to that stop bead. What's going to happen is every other bead is going to have two beads next to it. You add a bead, skip a bead, and sew through the next one. So as you can see, that's going to start creating that pattern of two, one, two, one. Coming out the thread here, add a bead, skip the next bead after the bead that your thread is coming out of, and go into the next one in line. Because we started with 32, cutting that in half, we are going to be adding 16 beads to this row here. If you need to, to make sure you can keep track of your rows, go ahead and set out piles of 32 and 16 as we continue along the way. Once you've gone in and added your new round of seed beads, as you're adding the last bead, what you want to do is go through that first bead that your thread was coming out of and then have your needle step up and exit through the first bead that you put on in this, what is actually the third row of your peyote stitch, the second row around. What you want to double check is that you have that equal amount going around here and that you end on a option there that has two beads and that your thread is coming out. We're now going to corner this piece and actually do a little bit of herringbone stitch, adding in two beads to create a squared effect. So to start our cornering effect, what we're gonna be doing is adding two beads in between our first bead set here. So normally with peyote, you're adding one bead. We're going to do two beads. So I'm picking up two of my Delica beads and I'm going to sew into the next bead that we added in this previous row. So bead number two out of those 16. Pulling nice and tight, it puts those beads almost into a herringbone pattern sitting at a V. I'm now going to add three individual beads around in the herringbone or the peyote stitch style rather. So I add one, two, and three, and then as I come out that third bead after adding three, I'm going to repeat the two count, one, two, and sew into the next bead. Again, three more until you have four corners. One, two, and three. And then again, after adding those three beads, we're going to add two for the corner. So I have one more group of three, one more corner, and then three independent beads, and you'll start to notice that square shape take place. So again, add three beads on their own in the regular peyote, then two to create that corner. You're repeating that four times as you go around to create our square. When you are done going around that row and you've added in 20 beads because we're adding one extra basically in each corner, I want you to sew through that first corner bead that you added in those grouping of two and you're going to sew through just one of those beads. We're going to switch to 15 OC beads, adding in two 15 OC beads 
and sewing through that second bead there on the corner. This is actually a start of a herringbone stitch. When you pull nice and tight, make sure that V is established and those two beads sit right on the corner. We're gonna go through now and add our seed beads along our outer edge. Sewing and adding one bead for each individual peyote style. Adding in four beads there along the side. And when you get to that corner, give a nice tight pull. Separating out those two delicas a little bit, add two more of your 15 OC beads and sew through the second bead on that row. Again, kind of pull towards the corner, making sure those beads sit in a nice herringbone style without any extra thread showing. I have one side completely done. I'm going to continue then finishing off the second and going the whole way around. After you're done going through and adding in that first row of 15 O's, we're going to continue with a second row of 15 O's. I've already done three of the sides just to show you kind of the process of what it looks like and how it's coming to a point. For your side, so this is the last one, it'll actually be your first as you're working with it. But what you're going to do is as you come out and you step up through that first of the 15 O's on the corner here, instead of adding two seed beads in that space like we did with the Delicas and then the 15 O's, we're going to downgrade to just adding one of our 15 O's. You're going to add one 15 O and then sew through that second 15 O that's already there. Continuing along the edge now, you're going to add one 15 O between each one of those beads. As you can see, I've already done the other three sides for this, jumping ahead, so you can see how it really starts to take that cornering effect. You're adding then one seed bead again in between each one of your 15 O seed beads that are there. So as you do this second time around with the 15 O's, all you're thinking is one seed bead between each one that's already there. When you get to this fourth side like I am and you finish up adding in the 15 O's, you're going to bring your thread and needle through the first of that 15 that your thread was coming out of when you started on the first side, and then also out through that corner bead. We're currently in a square shape, and you can see that really kind of squaring and sitting up starting to take place. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it into this lemon or kite shape, pulling back two of the sides and creating braces basically to hold in our crystal as we put it into place. To do so, I wanna sew down through that second 15 that's there. I'm gonna sew through the first 15 that I put on in the second row. Sew down through the 15 below it from the first row. And then we want our thread and needle to exit through that second 15-O along the side. So I'm gonna come up through the second 15-O there along the side. We're gonna hold in the bottom points of our lemon crystal by adding in three of our delicas. Go opposite that point there and count up one, two 15-O seed beads. So directly across basically taking the thread if you're going from one side to the other and catch on to that second bead that's sitting up. That pulls the 15 O's right there into a nice point and go back through those same three C beads. When you go back through those three C beads, give a nice little tight pull and go again through that second bead that your thread was coming out of, that 15 O, and sew from the bottom section near the point up towards the top. That's gonna get those delicas to sit nice and in place. And when we go in here to put our crystal, it just is a nice little setting for our crystal to sit right along the back. In my example, I did the same thing with 11 OC beads just so you could see it a little bit better rather than the silver right along the back. We're gonna sew up now and add a brace bar to the middle as well along the piece. So what I wanna do is sew along the 15 O's going just zigzagging from the first row to the second row. I can usually sew two at a time till I come out one of the side corner points. So two beads at a time. 
and I'm going to bring those sides back. You do have enough that if you do want to keep the sides extended out like wings to change the shape, you can do that and just create and sew the whole way through to the brace bar at the top. Here along the side, when I get our thread and needle to that top point, we're going to add seed beads, much like we did in the same fashion along the bottom, except more than three. And we're gonna use the Delica beads to do so, crossing over and then really holding in this lemon from one side to the other, pulling those wings back along the back of the crystal. Coming out through that corner point there, which is gonna sit along the side of our lemon bead, go ahead and add seven of your Delica beads. Sew over just like we did with the three there along the bottom, through the matching point bead on the other side. Your thread is coming out the left-hand side of that bead. We're sewing from the left to the right of the other side bead. You can see it pulls just right along there. Go ahead and sew back through that line of delicas, just like we did along the bottom, and out. What that's gonna do is get those delicas to sit nice and even, and also to get those sides held in. Take your thread and needle, sew up through that 15-0 that the thread was coming out of, towards our next pointed section. Go ahead and snake the needle, working back the whole way, till we get up to that second bead hanging out there at the top. Coming out there, we're gonna repeat those three beads like we did the bottom. Just like we did along the bottom, we're adding three delicas coming out through that second bead there from the top point. Add the three delicas, sew into from top down to bottom, the 15-0 the on the other side. Back through those three delicas there at the point. Give that nice tight pull, kind of massage the crystal into place there and then back up through that same 15 OC bead. Give a nice tight pull and your crystal is in place. If you want to, you can add another row of 15 O's along the front of the crystal to kind of get it even more in, in place. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm going to attach this from two corners and create, rather than an earring or something like that where you can put a bead on the center, I'm gonna make it into a statement little choker necklace. At this point in the piece, you can be completely done and just go in and weave this starter thread back through the project, add a little crystal if you want to the top and the wire guard. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to connect it to an actual chain necklace. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm coming out through that corner point and I'm also gonna add a row of 15s towards the interior to make it a little bit more eye-shaped. I'm gonna sew through some thin chain, and this is sterling silver cable chain, and I'm literally sewing right through the end of the chain. I have about 16 inches, 17 inches of chain there. If you wanna do a fancy slide or do it as a bracelet, kinda of get that evil eye bracelet look, you can do a little bit shorter chain as well. I'm gonna take my thread and needle back through that same 15 OC bead, from in, coming from the top to the bottom, and do one more time through that last link of chain. Because I'm using the gray thread, you're really not gonna see it. Go back through that 15 one more time, and that connects my one side of my chain, making sure that no other chain is attached. I get two links then onto that chain, and what I'm gonna do is snake through the piece to get back up towards the middle. I'm gonna add my 15 O's in, and then we're gonna connect the chain to the other side. To snake up through the middle, you can go through the 15 that sits right below the one you've been sewing through, through the Delica, again following that peyote line, through the next Delica, and through till you get to the top piece. When you get to that top row of Delicas there, sewing in, we're gonna add in a row of 15 OC beads. After adding in my row of 15s, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to skip at the top of the pendant and just sew directly through the opposite, basically, what I was doing. So where that corner is, on all the corners, I'm sewing directly through the two Delicas and I'm not going to add any 15 O's. So starting here at the top, I'm coming out through the Delica bead Add a 15 out and sew in to the next one. 
push the delicate put the 15 O's and push them down a little bit towards the project. As I come out right next to the stoppy there, here's where one of my corners. So I'm going to take my thread and needle and just sew directly through to the next delica bead, not adding a seed bead. Nice tight pull. This is your opportunity when you're right next to that stop bead to kind of take it off and tie your knot. I've left enough on that too that I can put a needle on there and I can take this thread and needle and get rid of it, tucking it down into the piece. So I'm just going to kind of remove that thread, add my 15, and continue on the sides. I will put a needle there and pull that back along the piece. So just kind of take it off there and let it hang out. If you want to, you could have tied the two thread ends together because of the silver color again, you won't see it. Adding in my seed beads. I have my 15 O's that are getting added right now. When I get to that bottom corner herringbone, I'm skipping adding a bead and I'm just sewing from one right over to the next one in line which pulls them even closer together and gets that nice eyed look. I'm going to continue on adding three beads, 15 O's to each corner, and then come back and finish off that side, adding in the last 15 O. What we're going to do then is take our thread and needle over to the point and connect our chain to the other side as well. So I've just added in the last of my 15 O seed beads and my thread and needle are coming out through that first Delica where my thread was poking out as I continue to create this. What I'm gonna do now is take my thread and needle along that outer 15 line and Delica line, snaking over the whole way and then coming down along that peyote stitch till I come out through the corner. When I come out through the corner, same thing, go in and connect to the other side of chain. I have a long piece of chain here. I'm just gonna to connect to the other side. And then what I'll do is I'll cut the chain in the middle of it to create that nice slide or to create and add a clasp. Once you attach the chain on the other side with that nice simple stitch, and then also take the threads to the back of the piece and burn them down, you can see this beautiful lemon stone and how it sits right nicely in that nape of the neck for a shorter necklace. Remember, if you need any supplies, you can check out the links below me to shop with us online at PotomacBeads.com. You can also hit that little bell or the little icon in the corner to make sure to subscribe to get regular updates from us here at Potomac Beads. Remember, this technique can be used for a multitude of different crystals and different shapes as well, so have fun creating and learning how to do that cornering. As always, thanks so much for watching and enjoy your new lemon-shaped crystal necklace.